party in Tokyo about five years ago, and they dated several times a month recently. Keiko Muro is reportedly an ocean lover and was once tapped as Prince of the Sea to promote beach tourism. But it's she that will have to give up the real princess title once she marries, become a commoner, and the state will pay her a lump sum allowance as she will no longer be a part of the imperial family. It sparked further debate about laws that prevent women from succeeding to the chrysanthemum throne, especially with the decreasing number of heirs in recent years. The controversial topic, however, is not likely to be raised this week, which Japan's cabinet is expected to approve a bill to allow Emperor Akihito to step down as the 83-year-old grinds it harder and harder to fulfill his duties. Princess Mako's father and her younger brother are in line to succeed the emperor after her uncle, Crown Prince Naruhito, who is first in line. Ibon Yong, ABC News. Coming up in the next half hour, versus Labour Party hopes its manifesto will help the claw back ground as it travels with the UK polls. And in finance, protests cripple Greece as politicians make a new round of austerity measures. Watching the world, our top stories tonight. The FBI asked to release all communications between the US President and its former director James Comey as the crisis of the Trump administration's alleged links with Russian influence. The Islamic State group claims responsibility for a deadly attack on Afghanistan State Media Building. And the US soldier Chelsea Manning has been released from prison after serving seven years for leaking thousands of diplomatic cables and military files to the police. Let's return to our top story tonight, of course, with the growing scandal of revolving security intelligence uh, passed on to Russia and, of course, now news that perhaps there is an email that has documented a conversation between James Comey, the former FBI director, and Donald Trump, where Donald Trump asked him to drop the investigation into Michael Flynn. Steve Herman is the White House correspondent for The Voice of America, and joins us live now from the joint base and the Andrews Joint Base just outside of Washington where he is following the president around. Steve, good to have you with us on an extraordinary day that you've woken up to. Has, has this perceived chaos reached new heights in your experience in covering the White House? Well, I, I think absolutely every day we just say, wow, what uh, could really top this? And, um, and of course, there's just something new every day. And uh, I think a few days ago, we entered into really that uncharted territory and uh, with the latest revelations about the memo, uh, we have certainly gone beyond that. And uh, Republicans are quite uh, silent since uh, Tuesday evening in Washington. Uh, very few of them willing to go on any of the uh, television uh, uh, talk shows, the broadcasts. Uh, it seems like they have uh, sucked in all the air, and we don't know whether uh, there's going to be a sigh of relief that comes out of some sort of uh, panic spree in the next few hours, as far as the Republicans are concerned. And see, they're in a quandary because we've seen over recent days Donald Trump denying people coming out and backing him, then him changing his story. So people must be now uh, be feeling very reluctant to come out and back somebody who, who they're not sure which way they're going to jump. Well, um, certainly if uh, you work in the White House, you uh, work in the pleasure of the president, but there is definitely a perception that uh, the president is willing to throw just about anybody um, under the bus to justify whatever uh, he wants to uh, tweet or uh, say to reporters. Uh, I think in the case of uh, the National Security Advisor General H.R. McMaster, he is uh, someone who does take uh, orders uh, from the president, but in other parts of the administration, uh, people have a constitutional uh, uh, duties to uphold, and I think that nuance perhaps has been lost on the president, and now uh, it appears that uh, his uh, presidency is trying to pay for it. Can you give us the sense of the, the environment that the president is operating in? Of course, he seems to have put 